Hi everyone, this is Joy. Welcome back to my channel for another card video. Today I have made six cards using the Spellbinders Dance and Santa October Card Kit of the Month. I love the holiday card kits, especially they are full of such fun die cuts and fun patterned paper and you can make some really adorable cards. Now everything that I've used for these cards is listed and linked below in the description and also on my blog and for the most part I really kept to just the contents of the kit. Now before I show you the kit I want to give you guys a little sneak peek at something coming very soon. This is the new tool in one by Spellbinders. It's got a it's got a new tip and the color is different, so it does match the Spellbinders Platinum and Platinum 6 die cut machines. And so this is going to be coming out soon. All right, now let's get to this really fun card kit. Again, this is called Dance and Santa. So in this kit, you get this little card that gives you sample ideas and shows you the die cut. So you get this die cut Santa in this kit. You get this really darling stamp set and I love that merry and bright uh, stamp. It's really, really pretty. Fun puffy stickers and some chipboard stickers, both double-sided, which is great. Tons of these die cut shapes. Here are the dies. Again, this is the Dancing Santa. Some really beautiful red sequins, a couple different sizes, which I really like. Here are some more puffy stickers and this really fun, beautiful cardstock. You get 10 envelopes and 10 card bases. You get adhesive and all this beautiful cardstock, some gold mirror cardstock in there, and then all these different colors. It really is an awesome kit. I just wanted to show you when I was looking through this patterned paper to start making my cards, I thought I'm just going to share this with you guys because it is just such fun Christmas patterned paper. You got little snowmen and trees and bears and just ornaments and sparkles and presents. Really fun, fun, fun paper. Normally I don't share this with you guys, but I just thought it was so cute. Again, these Christmas kits just come with tons of fun stuff in it and you can make a ton of Christmas cards. You can make way more than 10 cards out of all the stuff that's in this kit. I have so much left over after making these six cards. So I did the die cutting off camera. So here are the Santa's pants, his body and his hat, his arms and his gloves, his face is up there at the top and also um, he's got a present which I'm not using or this is the little scroll of paper that has all the the list the Christmas list from Santa uh, his beard and some part of his outfit so I've die cut everything off camera using the cardstock in the kit and then it has two little sayings that come with it oh sorry I die cut these uh, boots and his belt and I also, it has a little S, isn't that cute for his belt buckle? And I die cut that again out of the gold mirror cardstock that came in the kit, as you can see there. Now there's a couple sayings in this kit that I'm showing right here. This one says, better not pout. And then the other one I believe says, I love cookies. Both of them are super, super cute. So I'm lining those two up and running that through my die cut machine in white cardstock. And then I'm gonna take that back solid piece and run that through the die cut machine with black cardstock because that will go behind and the letters will be black. So running that through my die cut machine and then I'll just show you how I lined that up and now you can see. So you could put any color behind that front part. Now I am gonna be coloring this, the face of Santa. I don't have any skin colored cardstock and so you can just take your Copic markers or your zigs or your colored pencils to color his face. So I started with E00 and then highlighted with E11. Colored added a little bit of shading, super simple. And now I'm going to start gluing. I glued the top part is the brim of his hat and then his cute little beard. And then now I'm going to grow, grow, glue, glue on the Santa hat. Excuse me, guys. That's so funny. 
And I'm just using my tweezers to hold that in place just for, you know, a few seconds just while it dries. Adding the nose and the little puffy ball to the top of Santa's hat. And I'm coming in with T1 and T3 for a little bit of color on the brim of his hat, the white ball, and his beard. I'm adding a little bit of gray, not to make his beard gray, but to give the white part of this some color. I did R20 for his cheeks and for his cute little nose. And now we're gonna finish gluing this Santa together. A Little bit of liquid glue adding his head to his body. I'm gonna add his belt, the black part of the belt. And then there's another white piece that goes on the underneath his belt. And so I had to lift that up a little bit to slide it under. This is the bottom part of his jacket, the white part of his jacket. And when you're gluing this on, you can see on his body where these little parts go. It fits into little grooves and things on the sides of his body. Gluing on that gold mirror card stock belt buckle, his black boots, and there's a little hole in his pants and you will see why when we put him onto the card, but it makes him kind of 3D. Adding on his arms. And I have his little gloves die cut out, but I don't need them. If you had a present in his hand, um, it would you would glue the glove on top of to look make it look like he's holding it. But I'm gonna be putting together this scroll of paper that has all the little kids' names on this list. And I'm taking a black micro pen well, I will in a minute. I'm adding a little bit of that gray, the T3, to the outside edges of this parchment paper, basically, and a little bit of blender zero pen to blend that out and soften it. Now here is my black micro pen, and I'm just scribbling on little tiny lines to look like the names of the good boys and girls on Santa's list. Now I'm going to ink up some of this green cardstock that came in the kit and I'm using Distress Oxide ink in pine needles and I'm just going around the edges with my Tailored Expressions blender brushes and you can see it adds just a little bit of interest on the outside of this card. I have die cut that beautiful striped patterned paper to fit an A2 size card base and I had to put this together before I could get my Santa all the way together. So I'm going to glue the Santa down, actually I'm going to line him up, get my sentiments on there, and then I will put him together. So these fun, beautiful sentiment stickers, they're puffy stickers. The top part says Dear Santa, and I thought that is perfect for this die cut Santa. So I'm just adhering those down using my tweezers to help me line that up, getting my Santa centered, and then I will put the word Dear up at the top. Again, using my tweezers to line that up, trying to make sure everything is centered well. I think I had to adjust the sticker a little bit, so I really didn't push it down with much pressure. I'm just kind of laying it in place until I get it into the right position. Then I will put down with a lot of pressure. Once that is lined up, then we can adhere this Santa to the background. So I'm gonna glue down his little pants right above the word Santa. And then you can see there's a hole there and it is open for a piece of foam tape, these little foam squares. And then I'm gonna add some behind his two eyes and on his head and plop him down. And the reason why I did his two eyes is because I still have his little white pieces of his eyes that I'm going to put those down and adhere those in. And I'm gonna use a black gel pen to color in his eyes when we're all done. Adding a little bit of foam tape and liquid glue behind the list, behind Santa's list and holding that down. Coming in with that black glaze pen, filling in his eyes, I'm gonna let that dry and then come back in with a white gel pen in a minute. Here's that cute speech bubble that says, better not pout. And you've got the little speech bubble arrow part, glued that down with some foam tape. Coming in with the white gel pen and adding some little white dots to his eyes and a little bit of highlights to his hat, his belt, and to his shoes. You could also have done it on his jacket too, but I left that alone. And something that I did off camera was added 
some of those red sequins and you will see that in the picture. Coming back in with a glitter gel pen and tracing in the Better Not Pout because I thought that needed a little bit of glitter. And I added some glitter to the sides of the parchment paper that he's carrying. So it just has a little bit of shimmer and shine. Really super cute die cut Santa. Isn't he darling? Okay, so on to our second card. I am starting with a piece of the lightest pink cardstock. And I've, you can see there that I've got a piece of the patterned paper. I have that trimmed down to an A2 size card base. I am using this beautiful minty color sentiment that says Merry Christmas. And it was actually lined up perfect on the sticker paper. And I just kind of kept it that way. I'm gentle when pulling it off of the backing because I don't know if it'll stretch it out at all. And we definitely don't want that. So once that's adhered down, we've got these beautiful die cut shapes that come in the kit that are in the shape of Christmas ornaments. So some of them are gonna have foam tape behind and some of them will be glued directly to this piece of cardstock. And I'm just grouping them together in a group of three and then a group of two. Some of them will be hanging off the sides of this cardstock, which is great because we'll trim that up. And that is a really good look to have stuff going off the side. It doesn't feel like things are just floating in the center, which is later I made a card that things were kind of floating and I thought, what are you doing, Joy? And so I did end up fixing it, but it was kind of funny. So gluing this down, and I love the way that these frame that Merry Christmas sentiment. I just think it is so darling. So I'm gonna adhere that on. First, I decided I need a little bit of gold, gold mirror cardstock, a tiny, tiny frame around this piece. I'm adhering it down and then I'm just gonna trim off the other two sides. I'm lining up two sides to be perfect and then trimming that off. And it is the thinnest frame, but I feel like it really did add a lot to this card. Once that's done, I'm gonna adhere that down and this is already adhered, I believe, to a white, a two size card base. And I'm just trimming off the excess. Then there are those cute, tiny little puffy stickers that have the ornaments. And I thought those would be darling to add a few of those. So I'm coming in with some opposite colors and sticking those down. And I just think they are so super cute. I love the size of these little mini puffy stickers. It just reminds me of when I was an 80s kid and had a sticker book. And then I'm coming in with a glitter gel pen. I just felt like I wanted to elevate these ornaments and I'm just adding dots and lines and coloring in certain parts of these ornaments with this glitter gel pen. You could also do this with liquid pearls from Ranger or Nouveau crystal drops or Nouveau glitter drops. Every, any of that would be fun. And those two would be great because that would add some dimension. This. I didn't want to wait for it to dry. Also, I wanted it to feel like it was part of the cardstock, and so that's why I kept it with just a glitter pen. But super easy to add a lot of fun and beautiful detail that way. So I'm really glad that I did that because it makes this card shimmer and shine. On to the next card. I'm starting with a piece of green and white polka dot background paper. I've added the sentiment to this red and white striped tag and the sentiment says naughty or nice and I just think that's so super cute. And when I glued it on there you could see that I had die cut or that I had trimmed up the ends to match the little flag end. Popping that up on foam tape and gluing that down in the center and we've got this cute Santa head and adhering him down with the foam squares that come in the kit and I use the 3M foam tape for a different height than the foam squares. And I do that a couple different times on this card if I want different heights. Coming in with a ho 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 sign with some regular foam tape behind that because I don't want it to be as tall as the Santa head. I like the color combo of this card because you've got this great green background but everything else is kind of black, white, and red which I think is so fun. I am using those sentiment stickers The it says DEC and then 25 and I just think it's fantastic and I love the font of the numbers 25 I think it's just so fun and so pretty this card is just really kind of playful and easygoing 
you can see that I added another ho 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 sentiment these are part of those pre-made die cuts that come in the kit you get so many of those guys it is unreal how many you get the amount of cards you can make is unbelievable and then I'm going to come in and add a little bit of these sequins and you can see there's two different sizes there there's a larger size and a little size I love multiple sizes of glitter I or sequins I think that that is uh, great to add to your cards so I'm just going to use a little bit of liquid glue and glue those around three over at the top left and two towards the right side there and then this card is done it's just a fun and simple kind of playful card all right on to our little snowman card now this I just love snowflakes it's my favorite so I thought obviously perfect for snowman and then I just thought it would be fun to add this pink background in. I matted that onto some mirror gold cardstock, and this is trimmed down about a quarter of an inch around. So when we add this to the white card base, uh, you will have a, a different color mat. You'll have the white, the gold, and then the pink. So now for the two snowmen. The larger snowman I did with my regular foam tape, and then the little snowman I added those foam squares, so there's two dimensions there. One of the snowflakes has dimension. The other ones are glued straight down. I am coming in with these really tiny, fun foam or puffy sticker snowflakes and adding those around. Now, this is the card I was talking about earlier. I just, as you can see there, I have everything floating in the center and I don't know what I was thinking, but I do end up fixing it, thank goodness. <laughs> so I'm adding those around. I'm gonna glue this down to this white card base. And having that white frame around there just really kind of makes the whole thing pop. I'm going to add some of these red sequins to the center of the snowflakes. I think that is really fun. I love the contrast between the blue and the red. That is just really stunning. I'm going to add, come back in with my glitter pen. That has been my friend through this whole, whole card making process. I added some stripes to the little snowman's red part of his scarf. And to the big snowman, I added some dots on the green part of the scarf. Here I'm taking some more of these snowflakes. Here's where I'm fixing it, trimming them off and then just gluing them down and it looks like they're falling and it's going off of the cardstock. And as you can see there, it looks so much better. I am adding one more little piece of sequence to the center of that snowflake. And then this card is done and it's just really fun and playful. I love that it says, Merry Christmas to you and your family. Okay guys, another card. This one's kind of fun to me because it's got a lot of the traditional Christmas colors and it's got all these little fun Christmas critters. This little die cut piece I laid towards the bottom as the grounding portion of this card. Coming in with my little critters, some are just glued straight to the background, two are popped up on just regular foam tape. We've got the cute sentiment that says Jingle Bells, and then I've got another sentiment that says Be Merry. Both of those are popped up on foam tape. I have this glued to the pattern paper that, ha that has Christmas trees and Christmas ornaments, which I thought were just really super fun and cute. And just all these little fun critters having a good time. This will be matted on some red cardstock. Again, that had come in the kit. I'm gonna use some cute uh, red sequins, the two different sizes, and glue those down in a few spots. I just like that it adds that shine to it. So once I adhere that down, then I will adhere that to the red card base. And then just glue that to a white A2 size, white A2 size card base that came in the kit. I needed to trim off the sides a little bit. It was just a little too much. And then you've got this really super cute, fun, playful Christmas card. And aren't those little guys cute? All those little fun critters, super fun. Okay guys onto this card now this i did talk about loving this sentiment that says merry and bright i think the font is beautiful i'm taking a darker piece of pink cardstock that comes in the kit prepping my background of my cardstock with a powder tool stamping that with clear ink using gold embossing powder and i'm going to heat that through until it's melted and i just think the gold on the pink is so beautiful and gold for christmas is just absolutely stunning once that's melted, I will put it back in the misty because I want to stamp another sentiment underneath that says, have yourself a merry little Christmas, let your heart be light. And I'm stamping that with lobster ink from Lawn Fawn. 
Now, there is, you can see off to the right there, there's that cute little strand of Christmas lights. Well, there, there's two of them in there, and I was trying to incorporate that into this card. So what I needed to do was I trimmed off each one of the lights off of that strand, and I am just popping them up on foam tape, how I want them to lie around, and then I'm gonna come back in with that red, or excuse me, black micro pen, and draw the Christmas line that all these little Christmas lights are hooked to. It was really stressful, I'm not gonna lie, because this card was already done, and I thought, if I mess up, I do not wanna start this over. Thankfully, I did not mess it up, but I'm just connecting all the dots, so to speak, and having this cute strand of lights just go through this whole sentiment, and I, I think this is one of my favorite cards. I'm gonna come back in with the gel pen and go over top of it for two reasons. I wanted it to be glittery, and the second thing is it kind of softened how dark the black was. So that was really nice. So isn't that darling? I'm going to adhere this to another piece of that gold mirrored cardstock, and I have a little bit bigger frame around this card. And then I'm gonna adhere that to a piece that's cut to an A2 size of this patterned paper that is all the fun Christmas lights, and I just thought that that was so darling. Christmas lights and snowflakes are one of my favorite Christmas items or pictures or whatever. I just absolutely love them. They are so fun to me. Popping that panel up on foam tape and centering it right into that card panel. Coming in with some liquid pearls, no, excuse me, <laughs> diamond stickles. My gosh, you guys I don't have it together today over all of the lights to make them shimmery and shiny. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love how all of these cards turned out from this kit. It's all shimmery and shiny and beautiful. I wanna thank you guys so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up, share with your crafty friends. I really would appreciate that. And definitely comment because I love talking with you guys. I do have some affiliate links below. It costs you guys nothing to use them, but it does continue to help me make these videos. And so I appreciate it and I will see you guys soon. Bye.